Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create MIDI legato notes in Reaper. Now, the idea of a legato note is a note that holds out until the next note or chord is hit, creating a very smooth sound, which is known as legato. So I'm going to show you how to edit your MIDI notes so you can create the same effect, even if you didn't play it. So I have a project in front of me here, and I have a piano pad right here. So let's start off by recording some chords, and we'll make the chords legato afterwards. Let's double click the MIDI item, which opens up the MIDI editor. Now my performance isn't very good, so let's quantize my notes. Right up here, we'll choose using the grid, which is eighth notes, and changing this to all notes, and then it quantizes the performance. But it's only based on the attacks, where I started the notes. So it sounds like this. So where I hit the notes or the attack sounds fine, but the end of the notes, we want to be longer. I want them to extend to the next attack or the next note, which is what legato is. Now I could quantize the end right over here, position and note end, but that's not legato. It just puts it on the nearest eighth note right here. It's still too short. So let's put this back. And instead, let's select all the notes and then right click and go down here to set note ends to start of next note, which is legato. Choose it and it extends all the notes to the next note, or in this case, the next chord. Perfect. And we can do the same thing for melodies. Let's go down here to our string track and add a melody on top. Now, if you notice, the notes I played were very short. Double click it. Again, we can quantize it right here, but that just affects the attack. That's still not legato. So let's select all the notes, right click, and go down here to set note ends to start of next note, legato and that extends the note lengths to the next note, which is legato. Much better. Now there are times where we play more complex parts, like this. Let's clear these and go back to our piano. Let's play this. Again, we can quantize it, make it sound like this. But you can tell the notes are too short. Now, we don't want to do this in one step because the left hand and the right hand are playing different things. So it'll wind up sounding like this. Select them all, right click, choose that right here. And it doesn't extend these notes all the way. 
because it doesn't know. So what we should do instead is select the left hand, right click, and choose this. And it just extends the selected notes to the next note, or in this case, my left hand. Then go up here and select the right hand or the melody and do the same thing. And now it sounds like this. Perfect. Now we could also do this with an action. Let's undo this and go to our actions and go to the section MIDI editor and type in legato. And right down over here is that action. Let's add a keyboard shortcut to it. I'll use control L, but of course you can use any keystroke that you want. And now after I play it, I could just select what I want, hit that keystroke, and it makes those notes legato. Do the same with these, hit the keyboard shortcut, and it extends those notes perfectly to make them legato. Another one of my favorite ways of doing this is using a toolbar button. Let's undo it. Let's go to the toolbar and right click it and choose Customize Toolbar. Then we'll go down here to Add. Here's that action. Double click it and it adds it right at the end. Let's right click it, give it an icon for the button. I'm going to type in Note and choose this one right here. Then it shows up right over here in the toolbar. So after we record our part, just quantize it, then select what we want to make legato, hit the button for each one of them. And it creates a legato part for the performance. So that's pretty much it. That's creating MIDI legato notes in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Mm -hmm.